So I walked in the door, set up an interview, started crying down by the bistro because I thought, this is the place to go. So I was so excited to start here. It was like, sign me up, I don't care what it's gonna cost me, I wanna go here. I've always liked to bake, I love baking with my great grandma. And I thought, well, I'm not very fast in person, so baking pastry is a little calmer, and I'm a very artsy person, so I thought that could be used in baking, baking cakes and baking and stuff. So. Well, um, through high school and that, um, elementary school, ever since I was in first grade, I have reading and writing problems and dyslexia. Really bad. And um, reading is horrible for me, I'm a horrible reader and speller. And through elementary school, um, I did okay. I was in special ed classrooms. Um, when I come my senior year, um, to pass with a diploma, I had to take the regular English classes in that. Um, so I went from a fifth grade reading level all the way up to a ninth grade reading level. Passed every English class in high school with an A or B. I had some help, and I took my senior year over again to pass the I-step. I passed the I-step, because um, I had a teacher that said, you can do anything you set your mind to, because I know you can do it. So, if I can do that, I can do anything. So. Well, to be truthful, I just googled culinary institutes in Texas, and I thought, oh, this is a fr really Frenchy name. I love Paris. I've always wanted to go to Paris. Like I said, I went through a tour, and Elisa took me as a tour through here, and I started crying immediately between the bookstore and the bistro, and I'm like, this is it. This is where I need to go. And I had Chef Francis, my first chef. It was this awesome and chef job. And from there, it's just been fun. I mean, I went to the chocolate benefit, and to see those people, I don't know how to thank them for Giving the opportunity for kids who can't afford all the time to do it to pay scholarships for that is just awesome. It's French. I love French, like I said. I love that it's not just any culinary school. I've talked to some people that went to another culinary school, and it's it's really fun. You get to have fun doing it. Um, you learn a lot. Just the first class, I had never thought I'd be making puff pastry dough and stuff like that and bread. Thought you could do all that stuff, and just the short amount of time 10 weeks I'm making puff pastry dough and having a heart attack with the vinyls, and they get worse every quarter. Yes, a lot of my family I haven't seen them for two years now, and I probably won't see them until after Thanksgiving. Um, they're back home in Indiana. I have a friend, and I've made a big family here with friends um, from my church, and that, and they support me. They'll be here with my graduation, so. Says, it can be fixed. <laughs> so, and uh, Chef Francis explained when we first started, we're little toddlers. So you're not going to be perfect. You're not going to be up to their caliber. You're going to take years to learn that. So take baby steps. Don't cut off more than what you chew, but push yourself at the same time. So. <sighs> I'm a very spiritual person, so I'm really close to God. And being close to God like that, the emotion just comes out, and the passion, I can't even announce how much words it is, just like downstairs, I got, this is where I want to be, and just a little kid from Indiana who had reading problems in that, I thought I'd be working in a little factory making minimum wage or flipping burgers my whole life, I didn't even think I had an opportunity to own my own business, do it, it's an awesome opportunity. Uh, Mr. and Ms. Leno, I want to thank them personally for giving us this school because without them, this school would not be here and this opportunity is awesome. I mean, I get teary eyed just thinking about it right now, but this is awesome. Powerful. My name is Ian J. Morgan. I come from uh, Bluffton, Indiana. It's a small town outside of uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I moved here to come to culinary school.